me and Riri's monthly birthstone collab. And today we are going to be doing the look for February, which is Amethyst. So of course we are going to be using our ColourPop So Jaded palette. If you guys are new to this series, me and Riri do a look for each birthstone every month. And we use our ColourPop So Jaded palettes for that since the So Jaded palette is birthstone themed and crystal themed. It has a shade for every single birthstone in here. So that's why we've been using this palette. Um, it really has been getting me to use this palette all the time. This is still my most used palette because of this series and also in general. I just, I love this palette so much. So I'm really excited to do a purple look today. I haven't really dipped into many colorful looks for a while. So before you watch my video, please go and subscribe to my dear friend Darissa Rain. Her YouTube channel now is The Brutally Honest Beauty. I of course will leave her in my description box below. Go check her out. I can't wait to see her look. And I don't know why I forgot to say this every single birthday, every single month I mean, but happy birthday to all of the February babies out there. Um, I don't have any one in my immediate family or close friends that have a February birthday. I don't think I do. Pretty sure I don't. Um, but if you have a February birthday, happy birthday. And also February, of course, is um, finally another holiday, which is Valentine's Day. So I, me and my boyfriend don't really do much for Valentine's Day. It's honestly like not that big of a deal to us, but we'll get into that when I might do a Valentine's Day look. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm, let me stop rambling. So let me just prime my eyes and then we'll jump to the look. Now we're going to go ahead and jump into the look with the So Jaded palette. So I'm just going to open it up and just throw the box on the floor because that's how we roll here. So today I'm going to be sticking with some of the like Oh my god, if only I can make room on my freaking desk for shit. Like, it drives me insane. Like, literally insane. Like, it's like, there's such a small area for things to go. It's like ridiculous. So anyway, we're going to jump into the palette now. I'm going to use some of these, like, softer toned colors. Um, but I really want to make the crease, like, not like too purple, but you know what I mean. So I think I'm just going to start with the shade Rose Quartz. And I'm just going to use that as like a transition shade. I'm not sure if I'm just going to use it as my crease shade or as a transition. But we're going to start off with that guy. So I'm just going to dip into that. Very pigmented um, crease shade. And I'm just going to run that through my crease area. So how are you guys doing? I haven't really filmed that many makeup looks this year. I've just been like so busy and most of the videos that you guys saw were like a lot of like there were videos that you know I was pumping out videos because you know I had quite a few videos to film like after my best in beauty like the products I've used up and the products I want to use up this year. But then after that, I just kind of took a little bit of a breather and now I'm like kind of feeling a bit uninspired on what I want to film these days. I felt like I had a lot of content and last year, honestly, I was like a filming machine. I had a lot of content that I wanted to post on my channel and I had a lot of ideas. But now I feel like this year, I don't know, I just feel like things have kind of slowed down a little bit and I just feel like, you know... Things aren't as crazy as they were last year. So, like, honestly, I've just been using this time to just chill a little bit more and not really, like, um, I mean, I'm still trying to brainstorm, but I'm just feeling a bit uninspired as to what I want to film. I kind of stepped back on not buying as much makeup, so that's probably why I'm a little bit uninspired. But if you guys have any ideas for what you guys want to see... Um, I would love if you guys left it in the comments below. I'm probably going to do some more collabs this year, like with Allie or with Riri or with Debbie or whoever wants to collaborate. That would be awesome. Um, I mean, I do have video ideas in mind. Just for some reason, I haven't filmed those yet. I just feel like have to. I just feel like I have to feel inspired in order to like film a video. So. Um, I just haven't felt very like motivated to film. It, it has nothing to do with like being depressed or anything. I just haven't really felt like filming what's on my list. 
Um, I just feel like I have to be inspired to film that video for the day. So, okay. After blending and building up this shade for 10 million years, I think I'm going to leave this as the crease shade. I really like it. And we're just going to dip a little bit more. It's such a pretty rosy toned beigey color. And I don't have many shades that like that. It's just so pretty. So now we're going to dip into the shade... <gasps> No, come on. All right, I need my mom to glue this back into the pan at some point. All right, just give me a minute. Oh my God, Sorry. guys, I'm just having, I've just been having issues with the shade Diamond. So I'm going to try and hold it as best as I can. Um, but it keeps on falling out out of the pan. So I'm going to use the shade Amatrine, which is this really pretty, like, I don't know. It's such a unique color, honestly. Um, I feel like that and rose quartz are like very unique, like neutrally shades. It's like a purpley rosy color, like mauvey purple. It's so pretty. And I'm going to run that through the defining area. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas, I would love to hear them. I know some people have requested things, and I do try to film those, but if you guys just want to throw ideas out there, that'd be awesome. I might also pick up some new drugstore makeup and try to test out that stuff, but at the same time, like, I'm just kind of, you know, taking a step back right now because in the winter time, I can barely get out of my house anyway, so it's like, because now we had another snowstorm, and I haven't been out of my house um, since Sunday night, so, and I know it's a lot worse for other states, they got, like, 20 or 30 plus inches of snow, so I'm really not complaining, and I kind of needed a couple of days just to be home to, like, clean and relax and all that stuff, so I just spent the day today cleaning my bathroom, and that's about it, and I just had lunch, that's all I did today, but it needed to be done, and then I will tackle my room on Friday. I'm hoping to see my boyfriend tomorrow, hopefully. Okay, so once we have that blended out, we'll jump into the lid. So I'm just going to put on some glitter glue. So I got the glitter glue on, and now I'm going to go into the shade Amethyst, which is obviously the February birthstone. And it's this really beautiful, vibrant purple. I'm going to put that all over my lid. You know what the good thing is about all the other birthstone looks now that we have to do is that the rest of the shades are all shimmer colors in this palette. Because for the past, like, couple of looks, like the sapphire and the turquoise and the um, garnet, they were all matte shades. So I kind of had to, like, work with mattes on my lid. But now the rest of the looks are all shimmer shades. Like, for this look... Obviously, you can see how pretty this purple is. And then next month is aquamarine, which is like this beautiful turquoise shimmer. And then um, diamond is a beautiful shimmer as well, the super shock shade. And then emerald, which I think is May, is like a beautiful shimmer. Okay. Yes? Sorry, my dad was asking me something. I don't know why he had to come in here. Everybody's got to interrupt me when I'm freaking filming. Like, I can never just film a video for, like, an... I don't know why I can't have an hour to myself. No one bothers Cameron. Why can't they not bother me for an hour? Like, my brother stays upstairs and hides in his room, but nobody bothers him, but everybody has to bother me. Like, I'm just asking for one hour. And then I think June and July are Alexandrite and what's the other one? Ruby. So those are all shimmers. So I'm really excited to do those looks. Oh, such a pretty color. I love it. Oh, I'm so happy I used this color today. I haven't used it in a while. 
so pretty. And then for the brow bone, as usual, I'm going to take the matte white, which is my precious. I love this shade on the brow bone. It's like one of my favorite brow bone highlights. I'm just going to pop that on. And that is pretty much it for the eyes. And then we'll do the lower lash line after we do my face and everything. And I'm not even working until Sunday because I'm not a supervisor anymore. So it's been nice having all these days off and collecting more money from unemployment. <laughs> I get more money not working again. So I'm good right now. I'm getting paid to do YouTube right now. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna wipe up that fallout real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. I'm just gonna use my MAC Fix Plus. And then I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Um, oh my god, I can barely shake my arms. <laughs> I went out to shovel yesterday and my arms are still hurting. Like I went out to shovel my the snow around my car. And I only did it for a half hour, and I didn't really... What am I doing? Why am I putting this on the back of my hand? I usually don't do that with a primer. <laughs> I usually pump it out on my fingertips, and then I spread it around my face. So, I guess I'm not really thinking today. Um, so, anyway, yeah. So, I tried to shovel around my car, and... Um, I didn't really feel like my arms didn't really hurt that much yesterday. They hurt like last night and now they hurt today. So like I can't really shake my arm that much because it fucking hurts. So yeah, I wanted to try and, you know, shovel out my car more today. But I was like, I'm just going to do it tomorrow or maybe tonight or maybe just, yeah, I'm probably just going to do it tomorrow. I mean, there really is no point because, like, I mean, I do want to see my boyfriend, but at the same time, like, I am going to spend a lot of time with him next week. So I'm just using my, I didn't even say what I was using. I'm using my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer, and I'm just going to apply that. This is actually one of Kathleen's favorite products, too, and again, I do like using a lot of ColourPop products. Um, when I use her palette, just cause, um, like I was kind of like not sure like what kind of look I wanted to do today and then it kind of just hit me, um, a couple days ago. I was like, oh, I can do this amethyst look, but for like the rest of the looks besides the emerald, I feel like they're going to be a little bit more challenging cause like the emerald has like good colors for the crease and like the lid, it has like those green shades in here. Um, but like for Alexandrite, I'm not too sure, but we'll figure it out. And then Aquamarine shouldn't be that bad. So I'm just going to blend that out. And then for my concealer, because I'm just going to do everything on camera since I'm not really going anywhere today. I'm going to use my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer. I haven't used this in a little while. I'm still trying to use this guy up. Can you believe I still have this concealer? Along with like the Fenty Beauty and the Urban Decay. They just last forever, you guys. Forever. I'm just going to blend that out. So yeah, I've been snowed in since Sunday. I did go to the supermarket with my mom yesterday. I was like, I need to get out for a little bit. Um, I mean, honestly, it wasn't really that big of a deal. But I was like, yeah, I just need to get out and pick out some food with my mom. So, and we were kind of picking out what meals we want to eat today and for Friday. So we're going to have beef stew tonight. I'm so excited. It's like one of the best meals when you're like snowed in and it's cold outside. Oh my god, it's so good. I just feel like we're doing quarantine all over again. Be all except we can eat together and do things together as opposed to not. My mom has actually went more places than me this week. Because she's normally always working from home. But 
she has like a lot of doctor's appointments this week so they just gave her like and I think that she knew she was going to be off for five days so she had scheduled all of these doctor's appointments I think like a month or two ago so like she's been doing more than me I was actually supposed to go to the dentist yesterday and that was my supposed to be my big event but it got canceled because of the snow the day before so I rescheduled it for next Tuesday because I do really need to see the dentist this actually looks like it's on its last legs I think I'm going to get rid of this now because none of it's really coming out to um do my under eyes I think it's time to say goodbye as you guys can see oh my god my arm hurts so bad blending this out right now I almost wanted to take a break from doing my makeup today because my arms hurt so bad, but I already cleaned the bathroom, so I was like, eh, doing my makeup will be a piece of cake, and it's really not. Like, my right arm hurts more because obviously my right arm is my more dominant arm because I am a righty, but like, oh my god, blending this out right now actually really hurts, so I'm going to use my left. Oh my god. This is actually the hardest part of my makeup if my arms hurt blending out your concealer because you constantly have to like pounce it in all right it's not going to be perfect because it hurts too much i don't think you guys really mind right okay so i'm just going to set my face off camera right, so i just went ahead and cleaned up the transfer a little bit of the um amethyst shade because it was kind of getting um, like all up in my crease area so I think it did a pretty good job of getting cleaned up so now I'm just gonna reinforce that um, brow bone highlight and now we're gonna go into the lower lash line so first I'm gonna take the shade fluorite right here which is this really beautiful shimmer and I'm going to put that on my inner corners it's this really pretty purpley color and I love it it's like a lavender shimmer oh, so pretty And since I have a purple, I think that this shirt goes with a lot of stuff. And honestly, I just wanted to wear my Lucky Sweats today because they're so dang comfortable. So I just thought that this sweatshirt would be good to wear. Oh, pretty. And then I'm just going to um, use my sponge and get rid of some of that fallout. Yeah, that's good. And then I'm going to take that shade Ametrine that I used in my crease to define it. And I'm going to run that on the lower lash line. Oh, so pretty. I love this color. This is such a pretty color. And I'm going to do the same over here. Sorry, I'm like kind of concentrating on what I'm doing. We're going to have beef stew tonight. I'm so excited. So, yeah, we were going to the supermarket and, you know, we were picking out stuff that we could eat for dinner. And last night, like when we went around like three o'clock, my mom said she wanted to make beef stew. And I'm like, OK, is that going to be ready for tonight? Because usually we slow cook it. Um, It's just like so much better that way. And it tenderizes the meat so much better. And she was like, yeah, it'll be ready for tonight. Um, I'm going to use the NYX eye pencil in the shade Violet. I'm going to line my waterline with that. 
And she was like, yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna be ready by tonight. I'm like, okay. I was like, I feel like I shouldn't have trusted her about that. Because anything in the slow cooker takes like eight to ten hours. All right, I'm gonna try to trick that re reset and like warm it up on my um hand first. Mm, doesn't really do much to be honest. It's not really that purple. And I don't know if I really feel like making the effort to put a shadow in my waterline. Um, it's just hurting my waterline. Ow. It's not really doing anything, to be honest. I think I'm going to try and put some of the amethyst on my waterline. I don't know why that's irritating my waterline so much. But I'm just going to take a small, like, eyeliner brush to do that. Oh my god, that's so much more vibrant. That's so much prettier. I don't normally do this, but... I just wanted a little bit of purple on the waterline. I learned this trick from Brittany. She's the one that I usually did collaborations with all the time. I just don't love putting eyeshadow in my waterline because it can get in your eye. Like, just like that. Ugh, that's like too much. Is that like... Alright, let me see if that's better. need a tiny bit it like picks up so much all right I think that's good enough I just don't want to put on too much I mean where are we going besides the living room so it doesn't have to be super glamorous Okay, so now I'm just going to prime my lashes real quick. Now I'm just going to do mascara. I'm going to take the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Length Mascara. I do want to try that Sky High Mascara from Maybelline as well. I know Riri just tried it in her video. She's the one that kind of pushed me to try this one. I mean, I saw her like try it in every video. And she said it was like her holy grail. And it's a really good mascara, you guys. She said that the Sky High wasn't as good, though, so. But Maybelline mascaras are usually always really good, so. You can't really get a bad Maybelline mascara. Drugstore mascaras are usually way better anyway than high-end. Oh, this mascara is so good. Okay, now I'll just do my bottom lashes off camera to save some time. The eyes are pretty much done, so now we're going to go into some bronzer. I'm going to use the Ilia bronzer because um, I want you to see this in action. I'm not even sure if I've used it in a video yet because um, I haven't really done a makeup look. I did a get ready with me, but I'm not sure if I used this or not. So this is like my newest bronzer that I've picked up. Um, and I know that Kathleen Lights is obsessed with this. That's why I want to use it in this video with her palette. It's such a pretty bronzer and it smells so good. It's called Drawn In and it's their matte highlight bron night light bronzing powder. It's not a matte <laughs> bronzer. I don't know why I thought it had matte in the title. 
don't know why I'm putting on so much of it already. Can you like relax, Caitlin? <laughs> I'm just going to use that and bronze up my skin. Hopefully I don't look dead, but it is starting to get a little bit dark outside. So let me go ahead and open the blinds. I just haven't really been opening the, opening the blinds that much because it's been really cold outside. So it does keep my room warmer when the blinds are closed. But I need to let some daylight in. I'm probably going to walk the dogs after this. Just so I can get outside for a few minutes, even though it's freezing. Okay. Okay, and then for the blush, I kind of wanted to go into something a little bit purpley toned. So I'm going to go into this blush from Makeup Geek, and it's called Love Letter. And we're just going to take that. I'm not going to go overboard with it because I'm still going to wear this look around the house for a little while. So um, I'm just going to take a little bit. These are very pigmented too. Oh, it's so pretty. And do the same over here and you really only need to dip into it like once i feel like i put too much bronzer on so it's kind of like mixing in with it which is not a big deal i just want to blend it a little bit better oh my god my arms are hurting so glad i'm almost done okay but I really like how this look turned out. It looks super duper pretty. It's like an easy way to wear color. It's not like too crazy. And I'm glad I did a colorful look today. I was kind of getting bored with neutral looks. And then I'm going to go into a couple of shades of the um, Classy Cake highlights. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so the first shade I'm going to go into is my dear friend Anya Stampers. I miss that girl on YouTube. I really do. But this shade is so beautiful. It's like a purpley gold. And I'm going to take that and highlight with that. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Ah! I thought it would be such a pretty color for this because it's like a lavender gold. I don't know if I'm just going to use this one because I think that this might be enough. I was going to use Debutone too, but I think that this one might be enough. I might just use that to like top it off. Because again, where am I going that I need like a super intense highlighter? But at the same time, like I always do super intense highlight. So I think I'm going to spray this. Yeah, I'm going to spray it a tiny bit. I mean, it still looks pretty good actually. And I'm going to highlight some more with that. Oh, so pretty. That looks stunning. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a tiny bit of Debutone. And I'm just going to use that to top it off. This is such a beautiful, like, purpley, light white color. I think that's the first one. I always forget which one is which in this palette for some reason because these ones are a little bit harder to tell apart since they're like all white based. And I'm just going to use that to top it off. Oh my god, those are so pretty together. You actually can see like it change it. Because sometimes you can't always tell. Or I can't always tell. I don't know about you personally, but for me, like, sometimes I can't tell if a highlight actually shows up when I layer them. That looks freaking stunning, y'all. And then I'm just going to set my face with my spray again. Oh my god, every time I shake my arms, it hurts so bad. Even, like, pressing down the bottle, it hurts. Like, to spray it, so... And then I'm just going to brush my brows through with a spoolie and then we'll do the lip. Okay, and then to finish off with the lips, I'm going to go in with this Essence Lipstick in the shade Cool Nude. Oh, that's so pretty. I 
I wanted to go in with a ColourPop lippy, but I wanted something purpley toned, and I always use Scorpio Moon for that, so I wanted to use something else, and I really like this color. And I wanted something that I could keep on for a little while, so. This is just a really easy lipstick. All right, I'm just gonna finish it up off camera. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. Sorry, I didn't talk that much. I just like started to get more and more tired as I was filming. So here are the eyes. I really love the purple lid and I've always loved that shade from the palette. I mean, I love every shade in this palette. Like honestly, never really lets me down and it really is so much fun to be creating all of these looks with it. And then here are the cheeks. Love that classy cake highlight. So beautiful. And then the lips. I kind of feel like this lippy might be going a bit bad. I mean, it was kind of, um, it doesn't really smell that bad. It's just when I put it on my lips, it kind of like, you can like taste it a little bit that it's going bad, but it's so pretty. Um, and I really like the formula of these lipsticks too. They're just so easy to wear. I feel like when this expires, I kind of want to go pick it up again because it's like a $3 lipstick and it's such an easy like everyday lip shade and I just think it's such an easy like way to wear like a cool tone lippy um so yeah that's pretty much it you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video again please go check out um Riri aka the, Br the Brutally Honest Beauty um and go check out her look I'm so excited to see what she comes up with she always does the most gorgeous looks and I can't wait to see it I know it's going to be stunning Again, happy birthday to everyone that has a February birthday. I ho hope you have a safe and healthy and happy birthday. And I will um, talk to you guys later. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at cbw819 so we can chat and get to know each other. And I love you guys and have a great day. Bye.